everyone. This is Explore Traveler coming to you live from north, the far north of Alaska, the home of the Museum of the North and some of the most famous uh, gold miners that uh, went and panned this area and developed Fairbanks, Alaska. I think today, as adventure travelists, we're going to talk about some uh, some exciting news. It's not new to some people who've traveled around the world. But I think for, to those who are interested in some unusual opportunities, I just want to re remind people of some different things that they can do, not without a certain amount of danger, but uh, to those of us who have gone to these places, I, I think um, sometimes we find it's worth it, but depending on the, the current uh, situations right, that we have to deal with, adventure travel, cultural travel, is not without risks. Uh, for example, I think today one of the uh, major things that was added to the, uh, the UNESCO World Heritage Sites is the Anwar of Southern Iraq, the refuge of biodiversity, and the relic landscape of the Mesotonian cities. Um, Anwar is made up of the seven components, the three archaeological sites, and four wetland marsh areas in Southern Iraq. The main cities, you know, of Uruk and Ur. And, of course, you have other areas of this region, which is the Tel, the Rindu site, and parts of the remains of Samaritan cities and settlements that have developed in the southern Mesopotamia between the 4th and 13th millennia BCE. Um, this also includes the Iraqi marshlands. I don't know if you've ever seen any of these documentaries where in the center of these flowing waters, there's these people that still live there today. I've heard them referred to as the reed people because they use reeds and they literally live on top of the water. It's quite an amazing uh, thing to uh, see. But uh, I think the, the area that I want to just concentrate on a little bit is the very famous city of Ur. It's uh, mentioned and lots of texts, you know, ancient texts, including some of the very oldest texts of the Old Testament that we call the Bible today. Uh, Ur uh, is a very old city, but I think something that people should consider going to, if you can get there safely, which is, as of right now, I think that's highly debatable, but if you can get there and you can climb to the top of what they call the ziggurat, which is sort of their... I believe it was their religious temple, and you look out over the distance, you can see these little mounds popping up, right? And these mounds, from my understanding, from what I was told by the gentleman who was the caretaker of the site, now, granted, this was during a wartime, so he was not an archaeologist, but he was just the caretaker. But basically, what he was telling me was that they believed that these mounds that appear to be very similar in height to the ziggurat that I was standing on top of were also other ziggurats from other known cities from the time. Now, I don't know how accurate that information is, but it seemed logical from my perspective of where I was standing. Um, to get there, of course, uh, you have to go into Iraq, right? Now, this is in southern Iraq. Um, obviously, you know, the people who maintain the site, uh, there's an international community, but it's maintained by the government of Iraq currently. Uh, I think if you wanted to go, they would be, you know, very accommodating to letting you look around and documenting the area. So it's just, you know, some place that, that another place to consider that, uh, yes, it is, uh, I think technically close to a, a war zone. But, uh, you know, it's interesting nonetheless, and it definitely falls under the term adventure travel. Um, so recently, uh, the UNESCO added some new sites, right? So I'm actually here on their site right now looking at some of their new sites, uh, new inscribed properties, cultural properties. Um, some of the more interesting ones, um, I, I Antigua Naval Dockyard and Related Archaeological Sites of Antigua and Bar Bar Barbuda. Um, 
I think this one in Turkey, the archaeological site of Ani. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but the site is a secluded plateau of northwest Turkey overlooking a ravine that forms a natural border with Armenia. So it looks like in some places it would be very, very interesting. Um, I guess the Mongols invaded this area, and it was also devastated by an earthquake in 1919. But the remains of this uh, site are still visible today. Um, I think there's just so many different things. So I, I would encourage everybody to go up to this UNESCO site, take a look, and see what you can uh, see what you would find interesting, and maybe consider going there. Um, one of the things that caught my attention was inside uh, the Gorman's Cave Complex in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Um, so they have four caves, and they found all these. Uh, uh, Neanderthal occupation evidence, right? That kind of goes back for a span. They, they claim it's a span of over 100,000 years. I assume they've done some carbon dating to determine this. But it sounds like a very interesting place. Um, kind of get a feel for early uh, different types of peoples that were living, you know, in the world many, many years ago. Uh, I think that would be a very interesting thing to see. I, I someplace I, I would find interesting. I'm a history buff, and also I, I like anthropology, so that would be a fun thing to go do. Um, they they've added some interesting other things: some graveyards in Bosnia, Herzegovina, Croatia, Serbia, and Montenegro. Um, this is their serial property containing 28 sites located in the Bosnia and Herzegovina, Western Serbia. But basically, these cemeteries, I guess they date from the 12th to the 16th century. And let's see, they're carved from limestone. And I, I think the interesting part about it is, is they appear to be um, fairly large tombstones. So you would have to assume that they were from uh, people of that time that had the resources to be able to afford such a decorative tombstone. So probably uh, people of importance. So that would be an interesting place. And not to mention just, you know, going around Croatia. It's, it's just an absolutely stunning country. Uh, you do have to be careful to do the, some of the mines that's left over from the war. But, yeah, it, it, it's a place to consider. People are very friendly. I spent some time there a few years back, and I enjoyed it immensely. The food is, I would call it, kind of basic, you know, East Eastern European basic, you know, meat and potatoes, but they have their own flair to it. I mean, you can go and get glamour restaurant food, I suppose, if you want to, but I've, you know, my family and I, we've always enjoyed just meeting with the people in their normal setting, and uh, Croatia is just another wonderful place to visit. I think for the next um, maybe week or so, I'm going to go through some of the things that I've learned here on this UNESCO site because they're adding a tremendous amount of information that hasn't been there before. Um, so I think it would be a very exciting thing uh, just to let everybody know that Explore Traveler has been expanding. Uh, our show is now carried on the Stitcher Radio. Um, we are getting quite large on some of the other networks, uh, such as Spreaker. And of course, uh, everything is posted all the time, consistently, through our social media. So we welcome everybody. Sometimes we'll do a show live and take questions through some of the Spreaker audiences. So if anybody is interested, um, feel free to drop us an email or drop us some information to let us know the types of subjects that you want us to cover. And we will try to, you know, accommodate as many people as possible. So go on over to the UNESCO and take a look at the new sites that they've added. It's very nice. It's a very interesting uh, place for adventure travelers to go to get some ideas on what they want to go to. And, uh, I, you know, we'll talk to you later. So happy tra travels, everyone. And stay safe. But uh, enjoy yourself all along the way. And I think, uh, I think for now, we will uh, talk to you a little bit later. Happy travels. 
This program is powered by ExploreTraveler.com, bringing the wonders of the world to your home and discover wonderful people all over the world. Visit us now at ExploreTraveler.com.